This guys is the Surface Studio and we're gonna see how well it games. So let's jump in. All right guys, thank you very much. Thunder E here and we have the Surface Studio in house. We've had it for a bit of time and you know this video is gonna be all about gaming. Now before we start, I wanna give a big shout out to our sponsor, IVC VPN, definitely check them out. We'll give you more details later. What is the Surface Studio all about? Now, this I think is a replacement to the Surface Book, which was a two-in-one. It was a tablet and a keyboard separately, or at least a laptop. But this takes things to a very different level. Now, on one hand, you can put it into a laptop mode, and it's a laptop. It feels like a solid laptop. You know, you've got a nice keyboard, great trackpad, by the way. Or you could put it into what I like to call cinematic gaming mode, which is basically temp mode, but allows you to just enjoy the real estate, look at content in game, or you could tilt it back down and drop it into tablet mode and use the pen or just view content, whatever you wanna do, start writing, you name it. That's cool. That's what Microsoft likes to do with surfaces, but I wanted to see how well the surface games and how well the surface is for consuming content. Now, I've used it for about a week roughly, and I have to say though, it is quite versatile. Taking it from place to place, whether I'm outside watching content or I am inside gaming, I've found it to be quite versatile. Now, this packs in a lot of uh, performance for what you'd expect. An Intel 11th gen processor, you've also got 32 gigs of RAM, it's about a terabyte of storage in here, you can go up, I believe, to, to two terabytes. Uh, and you've got an RTX 3050 Ti. Now, just to bring the words of my buddy, Danny Wingett, we had a discussion and we thought, mm, the 3050 is not so much, right? But I might be wrong. I might be wrong with that assumption of what the 3050 can do. But before we even move forward, let's talk about this display and what we can do for entertainment. It's a 120 hertz display, which means your gaming is gonna just look better. And also, uh, your viewing, viewing content will be great. Speaking of viewing content though, now, if you're thinking of watching shows like say, uh, What If or Squid Game, and maybe you're in a different region and you can't access those shows, this is where our, you know, sponsor here comes into play, which is IVC VPN. They are a great service which has a quick uh, one-click access, allowing you to get in into the servers you need to. They've got a ton of servers worldwide, over 365,000 servers, and this allows you to access foreign content anywhere globally. So whether you want to access content in Netflix, and maybe you live in Nigeria, you want to access some shows here in the US, Amazon Prime, uh, Hulu, uh, you know, Disney Plus, you name it, you've got all that there. Now you can also protect up to 10 devices at the same time, just with the one account, and it allows you to also uh, use those devices across different platforms. Windows, as you can see right here, Mac OS, uh, you've got Android, iOS, you've got your Chrome browser, you name it. So you can do this across the board. And the last but most important thing is pricing. It is got one of the lowest pricing plans out there. Currently there's a, there's, there's a deal for 87% off over a five year uh, plan. So if you wanna do that, definitely use the links down below so you can go ahead, get yours, you can start watching your content and also you can also start gaming. Now, going back to the whole gaming premise, right? You watch content on this, it looks great. How does gaming actually perform? So we started off with Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Now this is a game that actually we use quite a bit to test and game on a couple of platforms. And on this, it ran pretty well. I mean, you can see it plays well. And the one thing I wanted to see was how gaming performance actually varied using the standard charger from Microsoft or third-party charger. Now, Microsoft has a 120-watt charger, while uh, the third-party chargers I used were 100-watt PD chargers from either uh, Anchor or Speedgit. Now, running um, Shadow Tomb Raider, doing some benchmarks, I got 37 um, frames per second for both the standard charger and the third-party chargers when I ran the game at high, and I ran the game at medium, I still got 51 for the standard and 51 for third party, which means you can use a third party charger even if you forget your um, Microsoft charger to game. And that's great. And it takes advantage of those two Thunderbolt ports. There are two downsides to it. One is that it's gonna give you an indication that you're gonna be slow charging, which is fine. The other is that you won't take advantage of fast charging, which the 
the standard charger does at 80% within an hour. So those are the two things you miss. But back to that full gaming experience, what I found just moving from game to game is that this system can actually play games well. So we played some Call of Duty uh, Warzone. Warzone ran at between 49 to about 55 frames per second, and it ran well. I mean, honestly, there were limited hiccups and it just was pretty smooth uh, gaming performance overall. We moved over to Doom Eternal. Doom Eternal was the same, ran Doom Eternal on medium. And we got about 110 frames per second, which was great. And you, again, with that kind of fast paced action, we really want that plus taking advantage of that 120 uh, Hertz display really showcases how well it, it, it games. And I, I can't stress enough how much I like to game in the tent or I was, should I say cinematic gaming mode where you're really just jumping into the display and gaming as much as you want to. Microsoft has also talked about Xbox Game Pass and how that's integral to gaming on PCs with Windows 11. So we went ahead, we downloaded Game Pass, installed, we made sure uh, we also downloaded Gears 5. We could play that uh, through the cloud, but wanted to see the performance of a game from Microsoft directly on the air. And Gears ran really well. Benchmarks gave me about 62 frames per second on average, but my gaming experience, I got uh, up to about 90 frames per second, which was good. Now, granted, this was more limited, not some of the open world areas, but we got a solid gaming experience. So, with that said though, it means that this can game pretty well. You know, it can do well with all of the games we've downloaded and also can do well with the cloud games like uh, Jedi Fallen Auto, which we played off Game Pass Cloud, as well as Injustice, which all ran well 1080p gaming. The only one game that didn't run well was Cyberpunk 2077. No one should be surprised about that. Run about between 21 to 27 frames per second and it just wasn't that playable. So that's the only thing, but honestly, I don't think anyone would care about that. Temperatures, however, did go up to about 110 degrees. My range was between 108 and 110, which is acceptable, especially for a laptop like this. Sound here was impressive. Microsoft has done a really good job with building a sound system and sound echo chamber that is impressive from tweeters on the side to, sorry, from subwoofers on the side to tweeters flying through the keyboard, which you have to take a listen. Honestly, it's a great experience and I think everyone who buys this or is gonna use this should you literally put it into tent mode to just take a full advantage of the speaker system. I think overall, for me, this is a solid offering from Microsoft and I think it's actually a better offering from the Surface Book line. So I'm glad they've done this. My few caveat here are, is that number one, Microsoft hasn't added more uh, entries into the GPU. So there's only a 3050 Ti. There's no 3060, 70 or 3080 variants uh, for that. And pricing, surface pricing is always kind of all over the place. So it's something that a lot of people might find, you know, just not appealing, but I like it. And I wanna hear your thoughts. What do you guys think of the surface uh, laptop studio? You think I'm wrong if I am? Or if I'm right, whatever you think, leave those thoughts down below. And also check out our sponsor for this video, Ivacy VPN, so you can get your own VPN today. And otherwise, guys, thank you and always enjoy your entertainment. <laughs>